Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm David, I am on a weight loss journey as I'm sure many of you are as well. And yeah, today I wanted to give you guys a quick 60 day update. I mean, technically 90 days, just since the beginning of 2024. I have some great news, which is that I am now officially down 28 pounds. This morning, I woke up to 202 pounds, um, or just a little bit over that. And it's been a grind, but we've certainly made some progress. I think in the last video, last update video I sent out, I was down 15 pounds. So we've nearly doubled our weight. I've lost basically almost uh, 30 pounds in 60 days. And so I'm really excited to report back. And today I just wanna tell you a little bit about everything that I've been doing, trying, things that have come up that are less about the scale or even the gym and just like internal stuff that I thought a lot of you guys might relate to or find interesting. So, all right, let's start with a quick update on what I've been doing. Okay, so this is gonna be pretty surprising. I think my number one update is about consistency and the power of consistency. And you've heard me talk about this at length, so I'm not gonna go too much in the details, but at the end of the day, I think consistency is the most powerful tool we have in the weight loss journey. And for me, I've basically eaten the same meals, so breakfast, lunch, and dinner, for the last 60 straight days. Now, there have been a few days where I've eaten, you know, a, a different meal, you know, I've gone down with friends or whatever it might be, but for the most part, 95% of the time, I've been eating the same three meals, which I've adjusted it a little bit, but it's uh, roughly, it's 300 grams of egg whites, it's a protein shake slash smoothie, it's the ground turkey pasta, and a ground turkey chili with some egg whites. And so that's really what I've been eating. And thankfully, um, I'm not that sick of it, like it doesn't gross me out or anything like that. And so it's been really good to just have consistent meals that we meal prep, I can just reheat, and it's really simple and easy. And I think for me, what I've come to know is like, I get very stressed thinking about new recipes or new foods. It's like, it's not exciting to me. It actually gives me kind of anxiety. Like what if it doesn't work? You know, a number of things. And so for me, I just really like, and I enjoy just eating the same thing for every meal as much as I can. That has honestly helped a lot. Obviously I've dropped another almost 15 pounds. So that is update number one. Kind of related to that is my second update, which is that we've been doing kind of small adjustments to my calories and overall macros, as well as the amount of cardio I'm doing and, and all that sort of thing. So I wanted to give you a quick update on my current macro and calorie situation. Currently I'm eating 1,862 calories, which is 200 grams of protein, 145 grams of carbs, and 40 grams of fat. And I know that's kind of on the low end, it definitely is. So basically I'm going to Hawaii in less than six weeks now. My coach and I's goal was actually to be below 200 before our trip to Hawaii in the last week of April. And so that's why we're kind of being a little bit more aggressive right now with the cut and the training. And so, yeah, that's why the calorie range is a little bit lower. We are actually going to drop even further down to about, I think in the 1600 calorie range for a, what is called a super cut, uh, which is basically like an, an intensive but short time period cut where you're really trying to lose a lot more weight before some sort of event. Normally it's a bodybuilding competition or something like that, but for me, it's going to be the bathing suit in Hawaii. And so, yeah, that's why we're slowly um, and steadily lowering my macros. Additionally, I've been doing the same workout program for the last six and a half weeks. We'll probably switch it up in here in a second, but yeah, it's been a really good workout program. It's a push, pull, upper, lower leg split uh, five days a week. And that has been really good for me, honestly, to see the gains steadily but surely. And so that is a big update on that front. We've also increased the calories burned on the treadmill. So I've been doing incline treadmill walking at a 3.2 speed at a 13.5 slope, uh, trying to burn three, 450 calories every session, every day. So I do that seven times a week. It's honestly kind of tough. It takes me a little bit over 30 minutes. I'll say like 33 or 34 minutes. And so that's also changed. That's gone from 300 calories to 450 over the last 60 days. So that's kind of the major updates to like my macros and to my training, but I also wanted to just to give, you know, a few lessons I've learned 
through the last 60 days, which I think hopefully you guys will enjoy. One thing I've learned is normally before a drop in weight, I experience a spike in weight. So like I'll show you the graph, but you can see almost that before every drop, there's a little bit of a peak. And so day over day weight loss and weight gain, I don't think is that big of an issue, but I have noticed that every time I hit a new milestone of weight loss, the front end of that is actually spike. And so that's something interesting. I don't really know what the cause is. I, I started to look it up, but I can't give you a definitive reason. So I think, you know, the lesson I'm learning there is if you're experiencing spikes and weight gain in your journey, I think that's honestly kind of normal and to be expected. And hopefully on the other end of that spike is a nice decline for you. Another lesson I've learned, which actually is super important, and this is for the gym, is I've been being much more intentional about my lifts and specifically to go to failure in almost every lift. And so what I mean by that is, I think a lot of people typically train in rep ranges. So it just depends on what your goal is, but you know, there's different rep ranges on the lower end for like strength, and on the higher end for muscle building, I should say. And for me, my training has largely for the last six and a half weeks been in the higher rep range. And so, and I think one thing I've really tried to do is in the last three reps of every set is try to push to absolute failure. And this, for me, this looks like I'm shaking, I can barely get the weight up, or I even fail, or I can't even do it. And that's when I'll sneak in some kind of cheat reps where even after I fail, I'll try to push for another two or three reps um, if I can. And so this type of training to failure has been really helpful. I can definitely see more of the gains in, in that department, which I, I, I honestly, for me as a newbie kind of in the gym person, no one's really conditioning me or no one's, no one really taught me like, yeah, go to absolute failure. You should feel like you can barely get the weight up on the last few sets. But I heard a coach say, if you're doing 10 reps, if you don't get the last three reps, the first seven are almost meaningless. And I, and I actually like that really stuck with me because I think that's true. Like all the work actually happens, all the muscle tearing and all of the real like muscle building happens in the last few reps of every set. And so I've really been thinking hard about that and being super intentional. So that's really helped a lot. So actually I would say the biggest lesson I've learned in the last 30 days is really about power. Now I'll try to explain this as best I can, but basically it's all about the, this is all about the inner work. And I think it's more about the power dynamic between food and myself before this whole weight loss journey, or at least this uh, chapter of it, I don't think I necessarily trusted myself around food. Like if there was something delicious in front of me, it was a toss up of whether or not I'd really be able to refrain from eating that delicious food if that's what I was trying to go for. Like the thing that's changed the most and actually the thing I'm the most grateful for in this journey so far is I really feel like I have power over food versus the other way around. Now I can go to dinners with friends or I can go out and I won't eat if that's not in my plan. And it's not like I feel sad about it. It's not like I feel upset or like jealous or I want this food so bad. Like food has kind of lost its grip on me in a lot of ways. And I think that has been the best thing that could happen to me because before this, like, I don't know if you guys would, would know this, I, you probably don't because I never shared it, but I would consider myself a big quote foodie. Like I love to eat. Whenever we travel, we kind of travel in order to eat new foods and try new restaurants. And I've been big into restaurants for the majority of my adult life. And basically that part of my identity has really shifted now where food, like I, you know, the common saying is, do you live to eat or do you eat to live? And for a long time, I was in that definitely live to eat camp. And I think that part of me has definitely changed. And while I still really love food and I appreciate delicious cooking and inventive cooking and amazing chefs and awesome restaurants, like that's not kind of like my reason to exist. That's not really what gets me excited anymore. I think what gets me excited is progress, is having true power and trust most importantly, I have trust in myself that I can have self-control, that I can, you know, exist without feeling tempted all the time. And so 
that's been the real biggest blessing of all of this. And hopefully, you know, you, someone out there can relate to this. And I think it's definitely possible, especially if you're like me, you've struggled with your weight your whole life. You've always felt like you, you know, can't resist food. I think there is a way out of that thinking and mentality and even like physical conditioning. And so don't lose hope, keep going. Um, I'm living proof that it can definitely happen. So that's been the biggest lesson um, over the last 30 days and I hope to continue that. Yeah, and, and I think for me, like people ask me all the time, like what's your goal? I've always said, oh, it's to lose 60 pounds or it's to lose 100 pounds, but I've realized I really just wanna feel comfortable shirtless. <laughs> and um, that's what I'm after. And this summer, I hope I'm in a bunch of pools, I'm in a bunch of rivers and lakes and oceans, and I just wanna feel free and comfortable in those spaces. So that's my true, true goal, if I'm being really honest. And yeah, the last kind of strategy I have is getting dialed the fuck in. Excuse my language, but this is what it's about. Like, I just posted this on my Instagram stories, and if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me, same name, David Kyle Cho. But I just posted that in the last 90 days, I've made more change to my body than I have in the last nearly 1500 days. So the last time I was under 205 pounds was four years ago during the pandemic. And in the last 90 days, I've lost more weight than I have in the last four years. So I think for me, it's like, whoa, you can change your life in not that long time, right? It's not gonna take years necessarily. If you have a goal for this summer or you know for next fall or for this winter, whatever the, the timeline may be, you have time, you can do it. And so I think it's a matter of getting truly dialed in, really focused, concentrated on just your goals. And it's gonna require sacrifice. Like in, even in the last week, I've been to a couple of dinners where I didn't eat anything. <laughs> I might have had a Diet Coke or something, but I just sat there and, and I had a great time with my friends, but that I think that's the quote cost of getting dialed in, getting focused. And so um, that's my ultimate biggest strategy is how dialed in can I stay and get? And um, yeah, we can change our lives and our bodies in a much faster time than we think. And so that's my challenge to myself. That's my challenge to you. Um, I'm very much looking forward to giving you guys an update in the next 30 days, which will be probably mid-April. So yeah, that'll be right before Hawaii. Hopefully I have great news to share. Maybe I'll even do kind of like a before and after photo. We'll see how I feel, but that's the update y'all. Thank you so much for following me on my journey so far. I hope to make a lot more progress and yeah, making more content like this for y'all. So. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the all the buttons, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Love you all. Thank you so much. Bye.